opportunity to teach you phys ed. This activity is called scoop craziness. Now you can use scoops or even uh, uh, lacrosse sticks and stuff, which is what I really want to use. All right, so uh, our students are going to have a partner uh, because we don't have enough scoops for them all to have their own. So it's up to you if you have the space and, and the uh, equipment for it. You can by all means have both kids have one. So we're going to have a partner. We've put, we scattered some poly spots down the center here, and I'm using my little Beanie Babies as a point system. You can use anything, uh, playing cards, uh, poker chips, milk caps, whatever you have on hand you want to use as your point system. And then we place uh, hula hoops down on the sidelines. No, I'm going to have a partner in this one. And we start off, we told the kids they had to stand inside the hula hoop for this part. Uh, we kind of had a few different layers on this. My partner would be over there with the ball, and I would come out here to the dock. My partner's going to toss it to me, and I'd try to catch it with the scoop. If I can successfully catch it with the scoop when they toss it to me, I go in the middle, I grab one animal, I run back, I give my partner the scoop, my partner goes out to the uh, uh, poly spot, I do the tossing that my partner's got to catch. Now, if my partner misses, hey, it's okay. They're going to come on back with the ball, and, and then it's my turn. So no matter what, we switch every time. So this is the first round. We kind of play for a couple minutes this way. And then we change it so that the partner out on the dot does not have anything. And the person in the hula hoop, their partner, is going to be the tosser. And they're going to use the scoop to toss. Now this is where if you had enough scoops, that person out there would also have uh, a scoop too. So then they would toss it out here with the scoop and try to get the partner to catch it while they were on the spot. If they catch it while on the spot or just with one foot on the dot, they got to get an animal and bring it back. And of course, then they would switch. So that's that layer. And then we added another layer to where we used the buckets. And so my partner would be with the scoop on the hula hoop and I would be out here as a catcher and I had to catch it inside the bucket. So my partner tosses it with the scoop I have to catch it with the bucket and earn ourselves an animal. Well, the next layer we added then is we place the buckets on the dots. So now here's our next layer. Like I said, each layer was a few minutes round. Uh, now they have to be here. We told the kids they can come up to the black line. Uh, they have to toss the ball with the scoop and try to go inside the bucket. If it goes in or goes in and bounces out, because sometimes it does that, they get their animal. Actually, this one, they get two animals. So if it goes in the bucket, bounces out, or inside the bucket stays, they get two animals and bring them both back. Then we had, we were able to get to another level, which was quite entertaining. We used the small, tiny, well, wood football golf balls. This was a little bit more difficult, um, so it was quite entertaining to watch the kids try to figure out how to use the small ball inside of a big scoop. Uh, they were going everywhere with it. But, it, you know, it kind of worked. It was fun. It, it gave them an idea of how much force to put behind their tosses and stuff like that, or even the overhand throw. So I hope that your students will enjoy this activity. Use the different layers if you want. Pick a layer that you like and use it. I, I hope you do something with it. I'm Coach Bro reminding you to keep on moving.